In 2021, when I decided to transition from non-profit into tech, one of the things I really, really struggled with um, was creating time to self-study alongside my 9-to-5 job, right? And on a few good days, when I actually managed to like sit down, I also struggled to like even assimilate what I was learning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Hadebola and I currently work as a full-time data analyst. Outside work, I create YouTube content and volunteer for projects in low-income communities. In today's video, I will share three things that you can do, you can do and implement right away to self-study data analysis and land your first data analyst role. Without wasting time, let's get into it. The first step is really for you to identify both the soft and the technical skills required in landing a data analyst role, right? And ChatGPT can even make your life much easier. And for those that might not know, ChatGPT is an AI tool that aggregates information across the web then presents it based on what you've requested for. Um, and it's pretty easy to use this tool and I'm going to show you an example on how you can get started with this. So let's say you want to learn a data analyst tool in the next six months. What you just need to do is to go to chat.openai.com, right? Um, if you're new to this, you can always sign up. It's pretty easy to use. This is what I use and you can even use like their free version. You do not have to pay to, to do this step. Right. And let's say your goal is to you know, land a job in the next six months and you have about two hours every day to study. Right. Um, so what you need to do is just come here and you know, type this. So this is just a template. You can use this or you can even tweak it based on what you want. Maybe yours is in a year or you want to land a data analyst tool in three months. Right, so just put it here and let's see what it's going to, you know, give us. So this is the question. I said the tool should have like a data analytics expert and create a schedule for me um, that can allow me to land a role in the next six months, given that I have two months, sorry, two hours to study every single day. And you can see the response so for month one these are the things it's saying i should you know learn um you know the different data analysis concepts for month two um these are also the things that is requ um, requesting sorry is asking me to like do and you can also even ask it like a follow-on question but i hope this makes sense to you and after you know what you need to like learn you can always use you know all these online platforms to learn each one of this so there's coursera there's udacity even youtube is a good platform for you to learn any of this so the second step is really for you to identify your transferable skills right and what are transferable skills they're really skills that they would always remain valuable irrespective of your titles. Whether you're a software engineer, you're a student, these are the skills that employers will be interested for you to have, right? So if you have a nine to five job now, or you're even a student, right? These are the skills you will have used in interacting with people. Um, an example might be maybe you, you're a leader in a group project at work, or you currently work as a you know, customer service representative. These are the skills you will have used while you're interacting with people. Um, and some of them include like your communication skill, your leadership skill, um, and the list goes on. And if you're unsure or you're not clear about how you know, the, the skills are relevant to your goal of becoming a data analyst in the next six months, like the example I illustrated earlier. You can also ask ChatGPT um, to help you list out um, the so key soft skills um, that data analysts, you know, use. And you can easily just, you know, get a sense of what you need to like hold on to. The final step of the final tip is, you already know what you, you know, the first step is, really understanding what you need to learn. The second step is identifying 
what you already know or what you already have which are your transferable skills the third part which is the final part is really now to like share or showcase others in public right so you're taking a course on machine learning machine learning is a concept you do not know about before right that's just an example right when you're done with that course share something you've learned um you know around the concept on your social media page whether your linkedin or your twitter and really just ask for you know feedback from people because trust me this is something that would help you to learn a role much faster than someone that is not doing that an additional tip will be which will be the final thing i would say will be to also just find people that are looking to achieve the goal that you're looking to you know achieve because honestly it will be a good space for you to meet those people for you guys to motivate each other and it will make your learning much faster and that's pretty it for this video i hope this has been really really useful please don't forget to leave me comments don't forget to subscribe like share and thank you so so much for watching see you in my next video bye